Hello everyone, this is Lisha from Scarlet Moon Creations. This video, I'm not sure where I'm going to upload this. Uh, this is different, but not too different. I did, last year I think, finally, a Bujo cover making video. Um, part of the reason for the name of my channel and my business is because you know, creative endeavors, whatever I decide to create. Uh, I wanted to leave that door open, um, even though most of what I think about creating are is related to each other in some way, shape, or form, and that continues today with this uh, video. Uh, 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 uh. Um, not sure I'm going to break this up, but I have three projects that have been on my mind for a while um, and they're like uh, multi-tiered or um, multi-branch projects and let me just show you I finally sat down and made like a bullet journaling spread because these have been on my mind okay so I made a spread to kind of collect my thoughts and these are the three projects the black parts here so tarot pouches or um wraps because i've seen people do those wraps where you um take your tarot deck out of the wrap you unwrap it and then you can use that as a um kind of tablecloth to do your readings on so that's an option um, and it's not just tarot it's Oracle and so the first decks I want to use are the older decks because they are falling apart and I can give you a couple of examples they're either falling apart or they don't have a box so my most used, uh, one of the oldest decks I have, not the oldest, but one of, um, and my favorite, Deviant Moon Tarot. This is the bordered edition. As you can see, the box is falling apart. It was a simple tough box. Um, the cards are mostly okay, but um, yeah, this has traveled with me, and this has been falling apart for a while, so a, a long time ago I put it in a organza bag uh and that organza bag has lost its drawstring so i bought a new one um because that bag is like falling apart too another example is the color mage oracle deck that i have here this doesn't come with a box or a bag or anything so a long time ago i put this in this kind of uh iridescent swirl organza bag as you can see the swirls are disappearing particularly on the top and the bag is all stretched out oh it's wearing a hole the drawstring is a mess um so it barely holds the cards all in place and they are well used of uh, this is not listed, but when I was gathering my decks to talk about this, I was like, oh, I should. This is probably the oldest deck I have. The Radiant Rider Waits Myth Tarot. Um, the box is falling apart, even though I hardly ever use this deck. Um, and so I said, throw it in there, throw it in there. A deck that does not have a pouch or did not come with a box or a pouch this is ethany's money magic manifestation cards this is the first edition and these cards very easily get damaged um little organza bag not bad but i just i wouldn't mind making a pouch for the oh look never mind there's a giant hole in the bottom ah so I didn't have this with a star as a priority here, but 
I have my only time will tell deck, which I don't really use, but I do want to. This is by Jessica Bott over at the Crafted Amethyst. Um, very simple box. Like it's gotten marked up, just sitting around, just sitting around. Uh, again, I don't use this much. Otherwise, this would be falling apart. So back to older decks. Um, I've got these two guys, and I don't know if they're fully on the screen. Yes, okay, great. Uh, the Fairy's Oracle and the Heart of Fairy's Oracle by Brian Froud. Uh, this one artwork is by Jessica Macbeth, and I mean, the text by Jessica Macbeth. The text in this is by Wendy Froud. I've had these for a long time, and the boxes are very good. But, um, in the last couple of years, taking them on and off shelves, they've got banged up. And then, quite honestly, inside. Um, these used to be my favorite type of boxes for tarot and oracle cards. So, the books are okay. And that's the main reason I kept the boxes, because, as a I want to keep the cards and the books together. The books are obviously hardcover, solid, and bigger than the decks. Um, this, though, it's only in the last year or two where I've been like, hmm, maybe there are better boxes because this has been through some things. This insert that holds the cards and... I bought organza bags for these decks, um, which I've had a long time. You, you can you can tell uh, these the cards uh, because the inserts here don't really they're not very helpful in keeping the cards in place. So let me show you. This box is the same deal. Lovely, nice hardcover book. I bought a red organza bag. Actually, I brought sets. I just went to the 99 cent store and bought like packages of three for each color that I that they had available. And yeah, this one is even more damaged. Just trying to put the cards back in. Just trying to put them back in. So what happens is, right? the cards go in and then they slide around they slide under now like it doesn't they don't they don't stay in place so i had to buy organza bags just to put the decks in their original packaging and not have them doing all of that hiding um and i've recently come to realize i don't need to keep these boxes as is and I'll get to that in a second. Um, I can have the books on a shelf uh, separate from the decks and be okay with that. And have some nice pouches or wraps to put the bags, to put the decks in. Um, a few more examples here. I've, there's this hours. Crowley's Tall Tarot, and I've been using it more and more this every year. And this is nice, except obviously I've had this. This is the other deck I've had the longest. Um, I haven't used it as much, but I slide it out and then toss it somewhere. This is like a book cover. The the sleeve, the hardcover books come in, and it's a pain in the ass to unslide this, take the box out, and then take the cards out of the box. So quite often. I'd take this out and then lose it. I had to search for this because <laughs> I didn't remember where I put it. But yeah, so the box, the tough box is much uh, more used and the cards are fine. But like I said, I have some ideas. So I probably won't throw away the boxes, just reuse them for something else. But as you can see, like stuff is falling apart. I didn't list this or the top tarot, but again, while I was looking, I was like, wow, these are really 
falling apart because these are amongst the oldest decks. I should explain. Um, in an apartment I used to live in, um, when I only had these decks, I had a leakage problem. I lived on the top floor and there was a roof issue in the apartment building and one day it literally rained on top of my altar space um, and I had these on a shelf and they all got water damage. I had two other decks, um, one of which was very, very water damaged, um, the deck itself. Um, the box basically disintegrated. Uh, this was barely touched, but use is mostly what made this look the way it is. Um, this, I don't think, yeah, this is a little bit, I see some watermarks, but not much. These two, however, definitely got water damage. You can see from the discoloration on them and the warping, only liquid will do that dirty water. This is a universal goddess tarot. Now this has a pouch, so, hmm, that's why I didn't list it as the tarot pouches. This has a very lovely pouch. So I probably won't make a new one, but I pulled this out for another project. I just remembered. This guy. This guy. This is what prompted <laughs> this uh, project. Um, it's like, luckily this deck was in the box because the rest is basically untouched. The book, just slightly on the corners here and the back, um, and that might be because I think it was standing up on the shelf. This weirdness in here is just so weird. Um, but I bought a pouch. And the pouch I had got old and worn out. And this, I recently bought a new one. Like I, those red ones I got. Uh, because this thing will just open up on its own and have cards flying out. This, the cards are supposed, were sitting in, and it was a weird situation. This box is weird. Um, so, like, I guess you could take this out and then use it as a top box, but, like, it would still look like this at this point in my life, so, look at that, that's, yeah. So, pouches, pouches, or wraps. Um, which of each I do not know. So, the other project, second, is Bujo Covers, right? And obviously I made this guy earlier this year, but one of the reasons I really want to do these projects is because late last year I got my sewing machine fixed. Um... I don't even remember what the problem is. It took the months to figure it out because they were like, oh no, it's just done. But um, they oiled it up and uh, threaded some stuff through it, gave it a few times, and now it works perfectly. So I can sew instead of hand sew. And if you saw the making of this, like, I just put papers because it's really flimsy. However, I still have uh, several um, old bags, because that's what this cover was, and old large purse. So, this is where I keep it all, on top of my desk. So, and then some other random things. I got, I, this is one side of an old bag, and... I haven't figured out how I want to do it, but I might just do it like this, and then have these be pockets. I've got this felt to put it on the inside to make it a little bit thicker. Um, just hang there, that would be great. This guy I started making, uh, 
This was some leather from Michaels and then I put the blue felt inside it and I really love it. So for smaller journals, I, I, I knew instantly like this was too small for my usual A5 size. And then here's the white leather, little gray backing. Um, I can show you the whole thing. This was the purse. Um, and yeah, I deconstructed it. We have some extra strips and then the silk lining. I bought this felt, but probably not going to be enough. And I got some stain. I don't remember what that was for, but oh, probably this. But yeah, so that's three, but the other was the rest of the red and white that I'm currently using. But yeah, I've got some coats I'm no longer using. Uh, they're falling apart. I can't really get them repaired. And they're so bad that I can't uh, donate them. So I was going to throw them out. And then in my laziness, not doing it right away, I was like, oh wait. I can use these for bojo covers or other things so this is a long wool coat i got i had found this actually and it was falling apart but um it wasn't this bad uh this this is the problem though and because it's merino wool like i don't have money to ask a tailor to do whatever and i honestly can't fit this anymore yeah, it's a size six so um, and the tailor won't, the, the green, uh, the cleaners, they won't even clean it anymore. Uh, so I haven't worn it since the last time they cleaned it and that hole got that big, but like this is tall. I am 5'11", guys. This goes from shoulder to ankle. So this is a lot of dark gray merino wool that I could use for a bujo cover um, or a tarot pouch wrap. And then I've got this, which is like this red wool coat that I've worn for the longest that I absolutely love. I wore it like I do a lot of things until it started falling apart. And the big thing is the torn inside now i could get this re like a new lining put in um i would have to but i i, I can't afford that <laughs> so and again donating places even like goodwill or whatever they would just throw this out so i was trying to figure out well, I love this coat so much. What do I do with it? Definitely want to make a cover out of this. Um, and before I get into more fabric, I just want to talk about the last project. Um, but those are the five like bujo covers I would want to make stuff out of. Um, just redo this or do a new one because I do have more of this fabric from that bag. This is like a beach bag. Um, it's not quite canvas, I don't think, but I could be wrong. I put question marks for these two, the dark gray wool I showed and the red wool because I'm not sure about the structure using them. Um, and those will probably be last to be used as far as the cover goes. Yeah, I'll look down a little bit. The last project, uh, Tarot and Oracle Junk Journal. Now, this is in relation to Tarot and Oracle decks again, Divination. I, I like making junk journals. Um, this year, I think I've mentioned several times that I've been watching a lot of uh, Dawn Michelle at Boho Tarot. 
and she makes journals for herself or as, as uh, tarot journals. Now, I've made junk journals before. Um, oh no, this is not one that I've made. I'm trying to look for one that I have made. Uh, I have some sitting here, but not many. So I'll show you. This was a gift. Um, I would do swaps. I haven't done swaps in a while, but it's not beyond the realm of possibility. So this one, um, the theme was our city or our town and yeah like I said it was a swap so and I swapped with someone who was way more experienced at this kind of thing than I am so they have all these tuck, tuck spots and whatnot but I like making junk journals to be written in and I gave it a lot of thought um, I would like to make journals that are specific for each tarot or oracle deck I have that I can use as my study. And that is, again, an idea I got from Don Michelle. And what I can do, because honestly one of the things I really like about junk journals is you can use junk. You can use stuff that you already have. I don't have to go out and buy fancy papers or anything like that. Um, I might, but I do have a lot of, uh, what do you call it, a scrapbook paper that I haven't used yet, um, some natural papers that I used to buy all the time. Uh, this is a scrap pad that I might use for a deck or two. Uh, and here's some dotted paper that I was using to uh, practice writing, my handwriting on. And I still got a lot of this. And this is where the Universal Goddess Tarot will come in. Um, before I get into that, I also bought this. I can use file folders. I got this notebook. This is too big, I think, for that, but I can use the paper inside, maybe repurpose the cover. Uh, like this stuff, I was thinking would go great for the Lion Strider Tarot. But I really wanted to sit down and think about like the covers. The paper inside can mostly be plain, but I can also use like tea dyed or whatever. And like I said, the uh, specialty papers and uh, paper pads, scrapbook pads that I have that I have not finished using. So I was brainstorming ideas. Uh, related to various decks. So, like, the Deviant Moon Tarot here. Um, kind of gothic. There was a junk journal I saw made that I thought would go great with this, but someone else bought it before I could and, yeah, before I got paid. But, uh, moons, textured backgrounds, blacks, uh, muted tones, Cemetery, steampunk. I was just writing keywords on this. Oh yeah, there's the info. But, you know, creating a junk journal cover and some pages that matches the deck so that I can go and do my tarot or oracle study and, you know, put my findings, my thoughts and opinions in there. Uh, so I have been doing some tarot study uh, month to month with different decks so far this year. So I did, I started with newer decks because I hadn't really used them and I wanted to get some first impression. So I might rewrite because a lot of the information I had put um, 
and digitally in my OneNote, I have a digi divination journal section. Um, and okay, so I've done some reading with with those decks. I didn't bring them out here for the most part. All of my decks sit in another room. I already brought half of them here. I didn't need to bring the other half. Uh, the Good Tarot, Black Moon Astrology. So this this deck would this this paper pad work really good with Black Moon Astrology. Um, it's across the galaxy, and and some of the pages might work well with Deviant Moon, right? Um, the Color Mage Oracle, the Soul Trees Oracle. This is color mage I definitely want to put something uh, t a journal together for this because this is based on the color it there's no book that comes with this so it's you make your own like making my own opinions would be great on that then um Soul Trees, another oracle, the Top Falk Tarot, I showed you, Lion Strider Tarot, um, I gave you that example of that file folder and a random notebook I had. Um, I might look for more file folders because they're really cheap and they're more sturdy. Um, but, let's see, Fairies Oracle and the Heart of Fairies Oracle, Deviant Moon, Lightseer, and Llewellyn. Um, so yeah, I start, like I said, I started coming up with ideas, and the other thing is, again, it's not just coats that I have a hard time giving up. I have old poles, and I really love them. I had them sitting around, like, I had them in a bag, like, I will donate this, but then I didn't. I really like this. This is kind of fall. This might work for a Deviant Moon Tarot. Um, I've got this, I'm not sure, it's torn, but this could also work as a Bujo cover if I get something more solid, because I do have a lot of book board, so if it doesn't work as a junk journal cover, I can use it as a Bujo cover, either way. Got this old robe. I honestly don't even know what I would use this for, but you never know. This shirt, which I could donate, honestly, but I haven't yet. Um, I've got this old canvas bag. Um, one of the straps broke. I love this bag because it's huge. This was, I got this in the early 2000s before these kind of bags were really popular for shopping. And this is really cheaply made. Um, the strap's only here. So, and it's supposed to carry books and that's what I use it for. But yeah, I'm a big fan of Sheldon Kenyon. Um, I think she's using her maiden name now, but I can't remember. Is it Sherilyn McGregor, maybe? I cannot remember her maiden name. But yeah, there was a whole big thing with her and her husband. But Dark Hunter, one of my favorite series of all time. So maybe using this for the Deviant Moon cover. Uh, what else was that? I have some. Oh, some old pants that I made shorts out of. So I have the legs just chilling around. I've got these pedal pushers. I don't know what do I have that's this dark blue. Maybe Black Moon Astrology cover. Maybe a different cover. I prioritized these decks first. I have more. Eventually, I do want to have a study journal for each deck I own. But let me start with these. I might put the two fairy decks together. I'll have to go over them. This is a dress. I couldn't part with the thing here broke. Whatever it was keeping is a halter. Um, and I was going to try to fix that. And then 
I realized I couldn't exactly, not the way I had the stuff. And then I just forgot I owned this. So this is sitting in the back of like a sewing bag, a bag of sewing projects. Uh, but yeah, this I think would go well with the good tarot actually. And another sewing project, this was a dress I loved. I wore this in college and then I tried it on and it ripped. <laughs> so yeah, again, a cover for something, right? So those are the projects, these are the, the materials that I currently have. I might come back and show you another time the papers because this is a lot already. I don't know, like I said, where I'm even posting this at, but yeah, uh, I haven't decided or picked what I'm going to use, what materials I'm going to use for what deck um, or what book cover other than the few book covers I have. Um, I haven't used my sewing machine in so long, even though it's fixed now, I need to practice on that first. Uh, so, yeah, thanks so much for watching, like, leave a comment if you have suggestions, um, and let me know if you want to see more of this, if you want me to see me picking out materials for each uh, pouch, wrap, or cover, um, and junk journal, and, uh, you want to see these projects continue, let me know in the comments, and, uh, follow or subscribe if you have not already. Thank you guys so much for watching, I'll see you in the next video, bye!